Sheila, it's after nine. You're going to be late. Then I'll be late because there's something I need to ask you. Yeah, of course. You can ask me anything. Louis, have you ever gotten a woman pregnant before? Okay. Uh, <laughs> where is this going? So I'm asking because you haven't gotten this woman pregnant yet either. Hey, Sheila, we just started trying. And I think what I've been doing is more than meeting the standards. Louis, you are an A slash A plus lover. Everyone knows that. There's a slash? That's not the point. The point is, have you ever considered the possibility that you're shooting blanks? No more than I've considered the possibility that I don't have a face. I get that, Louis. And you probably have the sperm of a thoroughbred. But I'd like you to get yourself checked. Sheila, if you're asking what I think you are, I don't want to go to a place where people do that unless it's absolutely necessary. I get that, too. But the fact is, I'm not getting any younger, and we don't have time to waste. So I'm getting myself checked, and I'm asking you to do the same. So here's the address. You have an appointment today. OK, Sheila, I'll get it done. Thank you. Harvey, do you have a second? Sure, Louis. What is it? Do you ever have to test your sperm? What? Sheila wants me to, but I don't think I could do it in one of those places. Louis, I don't want to have this conversation. It's bad enough that we share the same dentist. Harvey, come on. We're trying to have a baby, and I don't have anyone else to talk to about this. OK, what, what, what's your problem? Problem is, I've never had to do it under duress before. I don't know how. Well, why don't you do it like everyone else does? Use pictures. I don't use pictures. I only think of Sheila, and I can't do that with a bunch of strangers there. Well, what did you do before Sheila? I don't want to talk about it. Well, I don't want to talk about any of this. Harvey, come on. <sighs> All right, look. You can't use pictures. You don't want to think about Sheila. Well, then you'll have to think of something that turns you on that isn't Sheila. You mean think about an inanimate object? Yes, Louis, that's what I mean. Have you done that before? Of course I have. What do you use? No, I'm not telling you that. Harvey, please. All right. You want the truth? Sometimes I think about tomatoes. Really? Well, if you think about it, they're the most sensual fruit. I thought they were national. I am opening my soul to you here. Don't criticize me. I'm sorry, you're right. Thank you, Harvey. Good luck in there, buddy. Yeah, tomatoes. Holy shit. I thought of that. Hello. My name is Louis Lynn. I'm here to, uh... <laughs> you know, make a deposit. Ah, of course. 11 o'clock, right on the dot. Well, punctuality helps me get in the right headspace. Then why don't you take a look at our preparatory materials, and before you ask, I promise whatever you need, we've got you covered. Oh, that's great. Then I'll just take a quick look at the Wall Street Journal. The what? The Wall Street Journal, America's paper of record. What do you need the Wall Street Journal for? What do you mean, what do I need it for? I need it to conduct my business. But we don't conduct business here. No, not that kind of business. This kind of business. Are you telling yes. me? Yes. I need a Wall Street Journal, a Forbes, Investors Weekly, anything of a fiscal and fiduciary nature. Well, we don't have those things. Who are you? You just said anything I need. You got me covered. What is your problem? Well, it's not the clinics, but I have the real estate section of the newspaper. Give me that shit. Standard, 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 blah, blah, blah. Holy shit. They want how much for a two-bedroom? Mm, chubby chucker. That'll work. Really? Yes, really. I need a room. I need one now. I'll even share it with somebody. Come on, get the cup. All right. Get the cup. It, it, this way. What is this? Sanitizer. I heard you had a particularly dirty case on your hands. Harvey told you. You mean that this was the hardest case you've ever had? That the client was really jerking you around? That, are you finished? That, are you finished? Donna! I'm just asking as a friend. Did you slay the dragon? Did you bop the potato? Did you wallop the bedinger? Uh, wallop the bedinger? Yeah, I was on a roll. Whatever, no. Lewis, what's wrong? I was just joking around. Did it not go OK? It's just not that, Donna. Then what is it? What if I can't have kids? Lewis. It is all I've ever wanted, but it has never once occurred to me that I might not be able to do it. Well, has it occurred to you that the reason you were never worried is that there's no reason to be worried? Except Sheila is worried, and now it's in my head. Donna, what if it is me? Louis, right now, we don't even know if there's a problem at all. So I suggest you cross that bridge when you come to it. And if you do, and you need someone to talk about it with, I'll be here. Thank you, Donna.
Don't tell me. The results are in. They are? And? They want me to meet with the doctor in person. And? And I want you to come with me. Louis, I... I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I really think that you should do this on your own. Donna, they said in person. That can't be good. But don't they do that for everyone? Maybe they do, but I still want to be alone. And I understand that. But I'm not the woman you should be asking. Sheila. She is your partner in this. I know that, but what if... What if what? Donna, if I'm the reason we can't have kids, I want to be the one to tell her, not some guy in a lab coat. And if you really want me to go with you, I will. But if I were Sheila, I wouldn't want to be the second woman in your life to find that out. You're right, Donna. Mr. Litt. Yes, please, have a seat. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought. I have no sperm at all. <laughs> Of course not. In fact, I'm happy to inform you that your sperm count is perfectly fine. I see no reason why you can't make any healthy woman pregnant. Great. Fantastic. There is one thing, however. One thing. I noticed on the lifestyle section of our form, you put down mudding. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It relaxes and soothes me. Come to think of it, Doc, I think that's the reason why my count is so robust. You'll have to give it up. What now? Well, your count is fine, but due to your partner's age, if you give up mudding, your chances of conceiving go up significantly. To find significantly. 80%? Holy shit. 80%? There's got to be another way. Uh, there isn't. What if I put everything in but my balls? I don't. Scratch that. Defeats the purpose. Mr. Lit. What if I cut down on my sessions? I cut it down in half. It improves our chances 40%. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. Well, then what are you telling me? I'm telling you that if you want to have the best chance at having a child, you'll give up mudding for the foreseeable future. Oh, what's this for? <laughs> Well, I know it was a stressful day, and I thought you deserved something with a little umbrella. <laughs> you have no idea. Mm. So, how did it go? It was great. Really? What did he say? Mm. He said I should have no issue getting you pregnant, and nothing else. Nothing else? Absolutely not one thing else. That's funny, because I was told you have to give up mudding. What? How'd you know that? They called me right after they saw you. I don't believe this. This is a total violation of the doctor, patient, Cut I am- the bullshit, Lewis. You signed the form. The question is, can you do this? Of course I can do it. Are you sure? Because you couldn't even admit it to me. I didn't want to talk about it because it was a difficult thing, but I can handle it. You know nothing means more to me than having a family. I do know that, Lewis, but I also know how your brain works. And you're going to try to figure out a way to convince yourself that you can have both. Okay. I am a grown man. And I am telling you, if the doctor tells me I have to give up mudding, that I will give it up. Promise me. I promise. Good morning, Gretchen. How are you this I'm busy, Louis, just like you better get, which is what I'm doing here. Wait, slow it down. What are you talking about? The Nielsen Depot got moved up to tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, and Joan Walsh wants her quarterly update yesterday. There are 16 other things waiting for you in your office. You got lunch with Sheila at 1, and I don't know what the hell... Stop right there. You need to reschedule half of those things. That brings me to the last thing. I gotta go to the dentist. What? Gretchen, no, you can't leave me like this. Did you hear me? I got a hole in my tooth the size of Colorado. And before you ask me to call lip shits because you can't handle the pressure, he's out of town till next week. Good luck. Good mudding, Lewis. Good mudding, Lewis. Hey, Lewis, good mudding. And good mudding to you, too. Top of the mudding to you. Good mudding. Good mudding. Good mudding. Hey, Lewis, good mudding. <laughs>